Hey everybody, this is Chris Stokes from Stokes Family Farm in Greenville, North Carolina. We just wanted to give you an update. We haven't posted in about two years, so we're going to try to be more on top of it and start sending out more videos. And we would love if you would like our page and also if you would subscribe to us. So as we go into our venue, uh, on our last video two years ago, we didn't show you inside. So this is where we do most of our weddings uh, and events. Um, and so we stay pretty busy. This is the middle of the summer, so we have a little bit of a break. So we're doing a lot of landscaping, a lot of getting things ready for our fall weddings and our fall season. So come on in. Okay, here we are inside of our venue. Um, our rustic venue is a little different. We're uh, all white walls. We have a uh, rusted tin ceiling. Uh, we have a big glass garage door that you can open the outside barn doors and let the light in through the glass. Uh, so we have some options there for our inside outside weddings um, We're set up a little bit. We had an event here. We haven't taken down anything yet, but um, we have 200 chairs here uh, 20 round tables and several rectangle tables our max seating typically is 200 We can squeeze more in than that and up in our balcony. We have a bridal suite up there We have a kitchen over that has an enclosure that has the kitchen and in the back we do have a food room that uh, everybody sets up their buffets and we um, can walk back there and I can show you around. We have our restrooms here and we do also have two uh, TVs and we have mics uh, where you can play music on the porches inside. And here goes our food room. And we set up tables in here and the caterers uh, really like the space that we have because uh, it's separate from our main venue. And if you want to go upstairs, we'll show you a peek at one of our bridal suites. We have two bridal suites on the farm now. So this is our larger bridal suite. Um, and this was what we used the first couple of years. And now since we've uh, put another one in our red barn that's upstairs, that can, you can also spend the night. So it's a nice spacious area. And there's been several weddings up here also. Here we are on the back porch. Um, this gets used the most for our receptions or any events. Uh, so you have some high top tables, rocking chairs, we have the grain bin silo that people use as a serving uh, area. Um, some people bring corn hole out here. Then you got the animals and uh, believe it or not, the adults go out to the animals uh, more than the kids. Uh, so uh, it's really hot today. So all of them are kind of just hanging out. Um, it's about 98 degrees here. So uh, we're burning up here. Uh, okay, here we are with our pipe slides. We have two 40 foot pipe slides that people can race down. Uh, they're really fast and they're a lot of fun. Now we're at the petting zoo. And this is probably one of the most favorite spots for everybody. Uh, everybody loves to go inside and feed the animals. The cows aren't in the, uh, you can't come in and feed them because we don't want them to step on anybody's feet. But this is Star and Charlotte. And as we make more videos, we'll introduce you to more animals and kind of tell you about their personalities and kind of what they do every day. Since our last video from two years ago, we've added a whole new side over here. It's like totally different from our first video. This is, uh, we call it the Red Barn, and this is a party barn, uh, bridal suite upstairs, and we have a kitchen with a bake shop. And as a matter of fact, we just, uh, since last year, we've added onto our kitchen off the front here. We've doubled the size of our kitchen. Also put outside walk-up windows where you can order food and you can order inside. We have inside restrooms, but along with this addition, we added outside restrooms. Uh, we try to stay away from porta potties. We like to have facilities here and air condition. So we, uh, we hope we're doing a good job at providing that for our customers. And the restrooms are here uh, on the end here. So we're really excited about this for this coming year, people uh, seeing what we've done. Okay, let's stay, I'll take a look inside and see what we got going on in here. Here we are inside the Red Barn. Uh, we seat about 70 people in here. Uh, here goes our, where we serve in the fall, uh, but we do rent this out for a lot of parties, uh, showers, uh, different things. So it's a really good sized barn and it's pretty unique. We have our glass uh, garage door. Uh, we have front porch, back porch. Um, 
So yeah, so we this barn gets used a whole lot. Now we're at our second bridal suite. This is uh, on the back porch of the red barn. I created a little sitting area here. So let's go upstairs and see what it looks like. Here we are upstairs. Uh, one of my favorite rooms probably. Uh, I put a lot of work into this room. Uh, it's kind of a modern farmhouse thing. Uh, we have a little makeup station here, couches, uh, TV in the living room, TV upstairs in the bedroom. We have full shower, uh, restrooms. Um, we have a kitchenette, uh, coffee maker, fridge, uh, most all amenities you would want. And then if you come upstairs, we have a TV that comes out where you can sit in bed and watch TV. So. Um, I think we've kind of hit a home run here and uh, we get a lot of great feedback from the decor to uh, uh, how intimate it is and people like to come stay here. Now we're at Tiny Town. We are just changing Tiny Town a little bit. We're adding a fence all the way around. We added an entrance here. We'll have some signage and different things. Um, we're trying to contain the smaller kids here in one area where parents can kind of stay in here and keep the kids uh, in here. And it's right right at the red barn here where the restrooms are so it's easy access to those uh, things. So uh, this year we hope we step up our game and do a really good job with Tiny Town. Now we're at our corn maze. One of my favorites actually because I like to come up with a different theme every year and I won't tell you what my theme is this year. Check us out on Facebook as it grows but we just planted our corn maze uh, two days ago. Almost two days ago so we're excited. Um, to to hope we get some rain because it's super dry so we need to rain for this corn to get tall enough so uh we're going to hope and pray we do get the uh, ample amount of rain so uh yeah so check us out and watch it grow and hopefully uh we'll have a, a bumping crop this year this is one of my top secret things that we're doing here on the farm so this is going to be an entertaining thing for everybody young and old i'm not going to tell you what it is yet but uh if we are building a building here and something that goes with the building uh, you had to keep watching us to see what it's going to be. Alrighty, fun, fun, fun. This is one of our big attractions here, the Big Bounce Pillow. Um, this one has been the most popular with uh, all age kids from young to older kids. Uh, just a lot of fun, uh, good time. Here goes another new addition to the farm this year. So we're building actually a sheltered structure. Uh, we've always had a corn can and a small one. But this year we bought two big cannons, so we're going to have, we're thinking we're going to do apples in one and uh, corn cobs in the other, and then we'll still have our small one. But we just wanted to create a little thing where it's out of the weather underneath, uh, and we'll be shooting out into the pasture. Now we're at our main admission barn, so whenever you come into the barn, you'll come through and you have two uh, a ticket window offices that you'll check into, and then you'll come on through. But also inside we have a corn pit. Uh, for kids to play in. So they can play in corn just like you would in sand. And then we have these wall ball games where you try to get the ball to the top. So just kind of a fun little barn that we uh, converted into this when I built it last year. And, and uh, for now, this is what it'll be until we change it. I want to thank everybody for watching the tour today. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed it. And keep watching us for our animals that um, are coming up uh, with some fun stuff next. Uh, and then we'll uh, hope to see you this fall.